What's up everyone, welcome to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel. Today I'm going to be going over free competitor keyword research, so how to find some of your competitors top pages and some of your competitors top keywords so that you can use those and incorporate them into your own content strategy. Now one thing I want to go through before I get into this video is if you're looking to do this in a great level of detail, you might want to opt for a paid tool like SEMrush, Ahrefs, or SpyFu. All three of these will give you a lot more data than some of the tools that I'm gonna show you right now, but they all also will charge you a monthly fee. So the rest of these are gonna be options that are free. Now the other paid tool that offers some free tools that we're gonna use is Moz. So you can also look into using Moz as well. But what we really wanna start with is finding who our competitors are. So if you do go to this website at the top here, so it's analytics.moz.com, it'll pull up a bunch of their Moz Pro tools and some of the free tools that they offer as well. Now, if we come in here, one of their tools is called True Competitor. So you only get two searches every single month. So I've already used one of my searches, so I'm gonna use the second one now. And what you can do here is enter your own domain and then find the closest competitors that have the same SERPs as your website. So I'm gonna enter my domain now and we're gonna click on Find Competitors. Now, in order to use this tool, you do need to create a free Moz account. So just create a Moz account and I will link to this URL in the video description so you can easily find it. But what you can see here is it's gonna pull up my domain first, and then as we scroll down, it's gonna pull up some of my top competitors. It'll show our overlap in the search results, and then they'll also give us a rivalry score as well, so basically how closely related we are to some of these different websites. So this is a great way to start by finding some of your different competitors here, and what you wanna do is look at who you have some different overlap with, what has the highest rivalry, and what you can do is pull out some of these different competitors and try to find the ones that are closest to your website. I, even though Amazon is a top one listed here, I don't really think I compete with Amazon at all, obviously. It's just I do have some overlap because they rank really high for a lot of the keywords that I'm targeting as well. You can see the same thing down here with Etsy as well. So they are competitors when it comes to some of the keywords I'm targeting, but obviously they don't view my website as a competitor. So what I try to do is find the closest competitors that are in the same exact niche that I'm in. So the other thing that you can do is just basically do a search for some of your top keywords. So in my case, farmhouse decor, I can use something like farmhouse furniture and just look at some of the different websites that are ranking high in Google. Now the one website that always stands out in search results is antiquefarmhouse.com. You can see if I scroll down here for with Moz, you can see it's down here, antiquefarmhouse.com. And you can also see if I'm on farmhouse decor. So they have, they're right at the top of the second page for farmhouse decor. So they get a ton of traffic, a lot more traffic than my website. But what we wanna do is try to find some of their top pages and top keywords. So the way you can do that to start with is using a tool like Keywords Everywhere. So you can install this for Chrome, you can install it for a Firefox. It is a plugin or an extension that will give you a lot of different information for a different search engines like Google, Bing, YouTube, Pinterest, Amazon. So you can go to all these different search engines and they will show you a lot of detail about some of the top keywords, some long tail keywords based on what you're searching. So the other thing that they'll do is if you do a search, so I have farmhouse decor here and you find your competitor in the search engine results. If you scroll over here, for example, so we're scrolling over their traffic per month, we can click on view top pages. So when we click on view top pages, it's gonna open up a page that looks like this, and it is a top 1,000 pages for antiquefarmhouse.com. So I can actually see right here what some of their top pages are, with how many total keywords these pages have that they're ranking for, and I can see which pages on their website are driving the most traffic back to their website. Now we can also do this by using a tool like ubersuggest.com. So I've already entered antiquefarmhouse.com here, one thing you can do is upgrade to a seven day free trial and just cancel your free trial before it actually starts charging you and you're gonna get all of this data. But what we can do is scroll down here and see some of their top SEO pages and they'll show us their top 10 pages that are driving them traffic. So if we look here, just seeing some of their top pages, obviously their homepage does really well. So I can look at their homepage and try to see how I can improve my own homepage on farmhousegoals.com. But what we can see here is they have wall decor, they have ceiling lights, they have furniture, Christmas decor, lamps, tables, mirrors, curtains, and rugs. So I can kind of look at this and say, okay, I need to make sure that I have all those pages on my website and that my pages are good enough to rank 
especially above my competitors. So that's really where you want to start is trying to find some of your competitors top pages. So once you go through this Moz tool, maybe you do some different Google searches to find some of your top competitors. What you can do is start looking at their top pages. And the way I like to do that is with keywords everywhere by clicking on their top pages as I go through the Google search results. And the one thing you can see here is so if we come over here to Uber suggest, you can see one of their top pages here is wall decor. So if I come back over to keywords everywhere, you can see I have wall decor here as well. So if I click on this, it's going to actually open up the top keywords for this page. So it gives me a ton of different ideas and I can actually see what their cert position is for all of these different keywords. So it's 622 different keywords for wall decor. So as I'm trying to optimize my own pages on my website, so if we come back over here, we scroll down, my page for wall decor is right here. So farmhouse wall decor, I can make sure that I'm doing as much as I possibly can to rank for that keyword. So that's one thing that you want to do is starting with is finding your competitors and finding their top pages. And you can do that with Moz. You can do that with keywords everywhere. You can do that with Uber suggest. And then another tool that will give you some data is seranking.com. When you come in here, you can go to competitor traffic research, enter your competitor's domain here, and you can see, so this is the page you're going to get here. So competitive research overview. So we have antiquefarmhouse.com. It's going to show you their total traffic, total organic traffic and paid traffic. If we scroll down here, you can see some of their top organic keywords. So they obviously have the first position for the keyword antique farmhouse. Their search volume is over 20,000 per month. So that drives them a ton of traffic to their homepage. But if we scroll down, we can also see again, some organic competitors here, some really big websites though. And as we scroll down top pages or organic search. So if we click on view detailed report, we're going to see a lot of the same thing that we're seeing on Uber suggest. And again, if you sign up for any of these paid services, you'll get the entire report for all of these different pages. So that's where something like SE ranking, you can use Moz pro, you can sign up for SpyFu, Ahrefs or SEM rush and get all of that data. So I'm just showing you a free option here. Now, one more website I want to go through is similarweb.com. So you can enter your competitor's website here. You can also enter your own website and it will pull up some of your competitors. It'll pull up some of your top pages and different things like that. So just another tool to find more data about a competitor. But once you have your competitor, you find some of their top pages, you want to start to expand on that by actually finding some of the keywords that they're targeting. So there's different tools you can use in order to find your competitor's top keywords and even some of their top pages. So if you're looking for their most shared content, you can enter their URL into buzzsumo.com. And when you enter their URL here, so I have antiquefarmhouse.com, you can find which of their pages have the most engagement. So looking at different shares on some of these different social media channels. So you can see most of this is just Pinterest and this will work better for certain niches. It's not the greatest for something like decor, but for something like news or something like sports, you can find a lot of websites, top content, and you can use that content to actually guide your own content decisions. So as we scroll down here, I can look at some of their top pages by shares on Pinterest, and it will give me some ideas for different products I might want to add to my own website. So the next thing we can do is after we're looking at some of these top pages on our competitors website, we can use Moz again. So again, we're using some of their free tools here. They give us 10 total searches per month for ranking keywords. So you can enter 10 different competitors here. I entered just antiquefarmhouse.com, clicked on analyze. And if we scroll down, you can see over 9,000 ranking keywords. But what I can see is which keywords are ranking first. If we scroll down here, all of these are ranking. They have the top position in the search results for all of these different keywords here. And then as we come down, we can see which are ranking second and they'll give us the first page data there. So as we click on two, it's going to stop giving us data. So it'll give us these first 50 keywords and it can help us kind of understand some of the different keywords that we can target that I'm not actually going after yet. So for example, if, let's come to the top again. So monthly volume here that can help guide some of our decisions. So something like rustic farmhouse chairs, I can make sure I have a page on my website that is specific for rustic farmhouse chairs. And as we're looking at some of this different monthly search volume here, what you want to do is find keywords that you can target that have good average monthly search volume as well. So pretty strong monthly search volume, like distressed farmhouse table, reclaimed wood farm table. So we can find all of this data here just by coming to Moz and going to their keyword, their ranking keywords here. 
So it's another tool and I will link to all of these tools I'm talking about in the video description so you can find all of them, but this will help us find some of their top ranking keywords. Now another tool I want to talk about is WordStream, their free keyword tool. So if we scroll down here, we can enter a website URL or a keyword to find suggestions. And this is going to be based on Google ads and Bing ads data. So for this, what I can do is come here and enter antiquefarmhouse.com, click on find my keywords. And what it's going to do is show 25 of 500 keywords for whatever website that we enter. So you can see here, it's showing search volume for some of these different keywords here. It's showing our average CPC for Google, and it's also showing for Bing, and then overall competition. So what you can do is click on email all my keywords. And if you click on this, you enter your email address. It's gonna say, are you researching keywords for your business or someone else? So I can say my business or my client, email my keyword list. So that will allow us to send some different keywords that we can actually use again for competitive analysis and just kind of competitor keyword research. So just another tool that you can use for free is WordStream. Now, last but not least, the two tools, and you probably already know if you watch a lot of my videos, but the Keyword Planner, the Google Ads Keyword Planner, and also the Microsoft Advertising Keyword Planner. So both of them will allow you to enter a website. So if we come here, we can enter our landing page, which in this case, we're gonna enter our competitor's website. We're gonna use the entire website. And then what we can do is click on Get Suggestions. And if we come back over to the Google Keyword Planner, we can do the same exact thing. Rather than starting with keywords, we're gonna start with a website. So we're gonna enter our competitor's website here. Use the entire website. Now the other thing that you can do is as you're looking up some of these different top pages, so for example, as I'm going to make sure I'm optimizing my wall decor page, making sure I'm targeting some of the keywords that they're targeting as well through my wall decor content, let's just come here, copy this link address, I can come over and I can enter this exact page here and then rather than using the entire website, I can use only this page. So click on get results and that's gonna give me the most relevant keywords on this page. So it gives me 511 different keyword ideas. I get keywords by relevance. I get average monthly searches. So it's gonna rank them by relevance. And you can see here, all of these keywords are really highly related to what I wanna target on my own page for farmhouse wall decor. You can also add a filter and just say, I wanna make sure my keyword contains farmhouse. Click on apply just so it gets rid of some of those really broad keywords. And you can add another filter and say, I want average monthly searches to be at least 50 to get rid of some of these just 10 keywords and things like that that just have 10 or a little bit less average monthly searches every month. So that gives us 136 different keywords for a single page that we know that is driving a lot of traffic back to this website. So coming back over to the Microsoft Advertising Keyword Planner, don't mind my error message up here. This is an old account that I've actually just used basically to use the Keyword Planner. But if we enter our landing page here, so antiquefarmhouse.com, we scroll down, it's gonna give us ad group suggestions. So what you wanna do is click on keyword suggestions, but you can also use the ad group suggestions to kind of come up with some different content ideas. So farmhouse living room, farmhouse plan. So, and then if we click on it, you can see some of the keywords within this ad group. So it might give you some different content ideas as well. But if we come over here to keyword suggestions, it's gonna show us the most relevant keywords for antiquefarmhouse.com. I've already put a couple filters in here, so my average monthly searches is greater than or equal to 100. That just gets rid of some of these really low monthly search volume keywords. And then keywords to include farmhouse. So if I come through here, you can see all these different keywords that I can target. So it's giving us over 400 keywords here that we can look at. So there's a ton of different ideas by going to the Microsoft Advertising Keyword Planner, using the Google Ads Keyword Planner, and just entering our competitor's website. So basically, just to recap really quickly, so in order to find competitors, use the Moz True Competitor tool, enter your domain, you get two total searches per month, so make sure you use them wisely. Enter your own website, you can enter a competitor's website here too. Try to find some of these different competitor URLs. Once you have them, what you can do is either find more competitors by going to Google, searching for your top keywords, finding websites that are in the same exact niche as you, for example, antique farmhouse is in the same niche as me, whereas something like amazon.com is not. So Amazon obviously carries all the same products that my website does, and it has a lot of the same pages that they're ranking for, but it's just so vast compared to my website that that's not your competitor. 
your competitor is a website or a business in the same niche as you. If you're using keywordseverywhere.com, scroll over the traffic here and what you can do is view their top pages and you can use that data to try to find which pages they're ranking for, which pages are driving a lot of traffic and what keywords are they ranking for with those pages. So you can click on any of these individual pages here and it will show you which keywords they're ranking for. And then you can also use a tool like Uber Suggest, enter your competitor's URL, you can find their top pages. You can also find some of their top organic search keywords through Uber Suggest. They'll give you some of that data as well. So if you're using some of these different tools like Keywords Everywhere, Uber Suggest, Moz, it's going to help you find your competitors and their top pages. You can also use something like SimilarWeb.com to enter your website or a competitor's website. You can use BuzzSumo to find some of their top shared content. You can use the free Moz Ranking Keywords tool that will give you their 50 top ranking keywords for AntiquePharmhouse.com. And you can also enter other websites here as well. Now, what you really want to do is make sure you're keeping track of all these keywords. And one thing you can do is use something like the Google Keyword Planner, enter either a specific page or the entire website, and you can export keywords at the very top. So just click here, export keywords to a CSV file or directly to Google Sheets. And you can use all this data as you are trying to rank higher for some of these top keywords that your competitors are already ranking for. And ultimately what you're trying to do is target all of these different keywords with your content. And for some of them, you might need to create their own separate page. For example, farmhouse kitchen wall decor, targeting this keyword will help me rank higher for this keyword and this keyword and this keyword. So as you're targeting more and more keywords, you can use your competitors and use some of their successes to try to actually just copy exactly what they're ranking for. So this is a free way to do some competitor keyword research. Again, if you're looking for a lot more data, I would recommend a paid tool, SEMrush, Ahrefs, SpyFu, or even the paid version of Moz as well. So going through this process, it gives me a ton of ideas for my own website. So if you do have any questions about this, please leave them in the comments section. Thank you for watching my video today and make sure you subscribe to the Surfside PPC YouTube channel.